all right guys welcome to the new video this is going to be how not to play sky wars all right guys so the first thing you're gonna want to do is you're just gonna want to go to the store because there's one necessity you must buy in order to do this correctly so you gotta open a shop menu you know just go to kits and perk go to normal kits that's what you want you're gonna want to buy the disco one if you don't buy the disco one this isn't gonna work so you're gonna buy the disco one which i've already bought because of course i've already done this uh, you're just gonna buy a disco one and then you gotta go to solos and of course just Skywars normal. Now, make sure you have disco selected. If you have other ones, you know, make sure you have disco selected. That's what you want. And it's gonna do you so much help if you pick disco. I, I'm telling you. And one of the first things you're gonna do, of course, is just wait, but no. So you're gonna get in here and you're gonna start setting up. What you wanna do is you wanna have three sets like this and then a fourth, a fifth, and then you even if you really want you can break your flowers on the sides you can go there and i found that you can even break the uh like the land so you can put it inside the ground a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and put three right here too break some more grass and then of course we have a jukebox you don't want to forget about your jukebox we're gonna set that to the side right here put in the music disc even though i don't know um it doesn't play anything uh, i think my Sounds are off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No? Okay. Well, you know, if only. If you want to place stone below your block, so if I go to my chest down here, and I don't have stone here, actually. Maybe here? Ah, yes, here. So what I'm going to go do is I'm going to come up, and I'm going to see that uh, I think that these ones should be the base blocks. I'm just going to break the, break the dirt. And we're going to want to place the, uh, the stone right there. That's going to make them base blocks we're just gonna leave them at that and we're gonna say get away from me no 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 we are playing jukeboxes get out of here you see and then the strat works it's it's as simple as that all you have to do is you have to get set up and then you gotta make sure that they can't get to you it's that simple guys it really is uh, the last map we were playing on was not good for it, but this map, this is the best uh, strat for the uh, for the build way I'm about to show you, and it's actually really nice because I can just kind of jump over here. Oh, I missed it. Whatever. I can just grab some blocks, you know. Uh, you know, grab the snowballs just in case I need to protect myself from a little longer range. Uh, grab as many blocks as possible, and then of course I'm gonna come up here uh, just to get the last blocks because you do need every single uh, block you can get for this. Now, first of all. I'm just gonna go to the farthest point because uh, I think that I can get from here the best. I'm not speed bridging. I don't really need to for this strat, but I am just gonna go straight up on top of uh, this kind of tree thing that's here, cherry tree, I guess it is. And once I do that, you know, I'm kind of set. I'm just gonna sit up here. Um, you don't have to do anything. You can kind of sit here and block if you want. I do think that uh, building over to uh, this little hut here. That's an okay strategy. Now you have a little bit more room to walk around. If you have, if you got a bunch of blocks, you can try to build to the other side all the way over there. But uh, I don't recommend it. One, because you're probably not gonna have enough blocks unless you have to go kill people. And two, uh, you probably, you have a higher chance of getting egged or something like that if you try to do that. So uh, I don't recommend that. All right, this is a prime example of how the strategy is helpful. You can see I can just look down at the peasants. I don't have to worry about anything. I just look down at everyone and everything kind of sorts itself out. Uh, I don't have to worry about anything. And, you know, they might have ender pearls and they might be able to get away and jump everywhere back. But when it comes down to it, uh, I'm doing pretty good up here. I am going to start the bridge towards middle. I think that I'm going to be able to have uh, just enough blocks for the uh, for the way. Uh, I don't want to get egged though, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, make sure that doesn't happen. See if, he, uh, see if he comes to it. I'm waiting for him to get to the bridge. Uh, if he wants to get to the bridge, that really helps me. But uh, if he doesn't, you know, uh, life happens. Um, I didn't think that he would go that fast. So basically what you want to do there is you're going to want to jump off and then uh, hit him off. But uh, as you can see, I'm not that good at it yet. I'm still working on it. We're going to go ahead and move on to the next strategy. If you guys do perfect that strategy, uh, do let me know. That's It's a really hard one to perfect. As you see, I couldn't even do it. 
So the next strategy that we're going on to now is the uh, is the how to attack people in general. Um, there's nothing really wrong with this. I'm going to combine this with the hotbar layout. Uh, there's nothing real different to this one. Um, with attacking with hotbar, it's just uh, kind of adding hotbar into it. So don't really worry about mixing them up. They can go together. And just kind of make it as weird as possible, you know? Everything kind of just in a different spot. I mean, this is honestly just a normal hotbar. That's why I'm combining it with another one. There's nothing to it. And now we're going to get to the actual attacking people part. So we're going to leave our base. I know we're not very used to that here, but we're going to go ahead and do it. And I say have your mouse ready by... Have your finger ready. He's coming. You just want to click as fast as possible, and it works. Every time. I guess I gotta go look for this guy. Not used to that. Usually people have to come look for me. And uh, I think that's about as simple as it gets. Uh, if you have any problems with this strategy, I really got nothing for you guys. Uh, that that's about what I got to with the with the strategy myself. All right, guys. So now we have literally just one and a half strategies left, and that's going to be killing yourself and the fastest way to mid. Now, killing yourself is best when it's in a one v one scenario because you want to use this as you're kind of like jumping off the edge on your own, uh, killing the other person, which is kind of hard feat to do uh, if the uh, if there's a lot of people left. So that's why I'm going to try to leave it. I'm bad. Um, that's that's all I have for you guys. All right, there we go. Almost dead, but that's okay. All right. Now I did say fastest way to mid, so we're gonna go ahead and get on that. Uh, I don't recommend taking fall damage; kind of hurts, but uh, we, we did it, and it's okay. Now there are three people left, so I am going to be able to do the uh, last strategy that I did recommend. Um, I'm going to hopefully be able to do it. Uh, I got to get them into the right position. This map's a little awkward when it comes to that. Oh, shucks, I, he's not in the right position for this. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to go for the win. I'm just going to try to go for the uh, strategy at this point. Unless I can... Well, um, I got that one, so it's now a 1v1. If I can get him where I need him to be, uh, come after me, come after me, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, all right, I think he's gonna come after me now. Hmm. Well, guys, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do that strategy, uh, because that guy was kind of in the position to do the strategy I wanted. So basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna try to get to the point to where you are here and they kind of come out here and you just kind of like run yourself off the edge until they follow you off. All right, guys, if you guys have any questions about any of the strategies used in this video, feel free to put it in the comments or use my Discord link that's in the description to ask me if you have any thoughts or opinions on what should be added in the next time I do something like this. Go ahead. Any recommendations for videos, uh, put them in the uh, comments, of course. But thank you guys for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing. I will hopefully see you guys in the next one.